The cocaine and flame throat restricts my breath. Eyes, eyes half open and half shut, I feel like death. Vulnerable, I wait for darkness, counting sheep. I'm on the cusp when they put him in my bed. There's nowhere else for him to sleep. Piles of party people fill every other room. I wake to a stranger's hand between my thighs. I push him away once, twice, but the third time I don't. The sensation isn't unpleasant, but is it nice? Stimulating my clit, I'm getting wet. I mean, I do like sex, it does feel good. His mouth tastes my flesh and it's not unpleasant. Uncomfortable as he pulls down my knickers, insistent. I'm not enjoying myself now, it's moving too far. I pull them back up, persistent. I don't want to touch him, I don't want him in me, so I move, resistant. And on the other side of the bed, he finally gets the message and we sleep. But in the morning, I feel cheap, a slut, a slag, I'm easy. The only prerequisite to enjoying my body seems to be access. The girl who gives it up, that's me. I feel low, I feel shame, I take society's blame into my soul. No one will love the girl who doesn't love herself. <coughs> but is that true? I do love myself, or at least I think I do. But I also like sex, and can a woman like both? The physical and emotional, I can separate, so please, sir, I'd like to have my cake, and if it's all the same, I'd like to eat it too. The whole plate. Or is that still just reserved for men? After all, a man is never easy. Or maybe it's that all men actually are? <laughs> Even in the times of consent, of assent, times of genuine content, waves of pleasure filling the corners of my being, enjoying my body and the body of whatever guy I was seeing, the next day judgment springs far too easily. Far too easy like me, regret. Was that right? Or have I lost sight of the bigger picture? Am I wrong to lust? I try to push these thoughts from my mind, but they linger, turning my internal principles to dust. My body is sacred, or so they say. But surely sacred to me and not to you. It's mine to give away as I so please. I can tease, I can permit, I can deny, I can contain, detain, retain, attain my desires. But these thoughts linger. They linger in the social consciousness, malicious fingers bleeding into my psyche, into my heart, my soul, and my sexuality. My New Year's resolution was a sexual revolution. I want to have a threesome. I want to have an orgy. I want to be choked, to be gasping for breath. I want my thighs to quiver beyond my control. I want to put it into every hole. But I want that control. I want to be whole. To be accepted and have no regrets. My desires no longer my own dirty secrets. That once devolved somehow make me weak. At the mercy of the man to whom this woman dared to speak. But I wonder... Am I ruining myself? Not for me, for some imagined future life where I, the demure wife, have a husband. A man who will seek to own me, my thoughts, my needs, my cravings, and even my past. Each ancient pleasure now a slight to his slender manhood. Will anyone love the girl who loves too much or too many? Love is for the virtuous woman. Love is for the good woman. At the very least, it seems, love is not for sluts.